Uh, I'm gonna try and attempt to redo this seat. Um, I got the vinyl from Joann's. It was 20 bucks, like $22 with tax for a yard. Um, I can probably do two seats with this. Um, I got a tip from the LTZ Quad Nation guy, I believe is his name. And uh, he's also here in Arizona and he gave me the tip. Uh, well, I watched one of his videos and um, he told me where to buy it. So I'm going to try it out and hopefully this works on this uh, crappy ass Banshee seat. So we're going to try and make it look as great as possible with whatever we got. With as cheap as, you know, low budget we got. But yeah, as you guys can see, the seat is pretty bad. Really bad if I do say so. Um, I'm going to leave this on. Just uh, because I want to see if I could do it. If not, then I'll just sell it like that. But um, I'm going to start at the very end here. And then I just got to make sure that this is going to go over. And it looks like it is. And then the back here. I'm pretty much just going to copy whatever's here. And uh, it looks like that would be it right there on the back here. My camera is going to die, so I'm going to swap out the battery real quick, you guys. Alright, you guys. So I found the guy. Yeah, his name is LTZ Quad Nation. So shout out to him uh, if you guys want to follow him. So he's the one that told me about the vinyl for the seat. And Joanne's $22 for a yard. Um, so I've started working my way from the back here, and then I'm gonna do the the side here. Um, it is kind of like weird though, because I mean, you gotta like pull this thing tight, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like you gotta do that. And I'm using a hand stapler from Harbor Freight, and it's actually working, but um. At the same time, it's not because the staples feel like they don't go in as far as they should. So I put a couple staples on the back and then a couple on the front and now I'm just kind of trying to tighten the side right here because obviously it goes down. Alright you guys, so I tried to do it the other way, I couldn't do it. Um, basically, all I'm, I'm going to try a different route and I'm going to use some uh, spray adhesive and I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to tighten it down and staple it. So let's see if this works out better because it was looking horrible you guys. I'm going to be real honest, I'm a mechanic, I don't do this type of stuff. I tried it, but at least that way didn't work for me so I'm gonna try it this way so we're, we're gonna see here shortly how this turns out but yeah I'm thinking like this see that looks a little bit better besides the foam being kind of jacked you know but see now I just gotta worry about these edges right here and tightening those down and then the back, I mean, nobody gives a shit about the back side. But yeah, that looks way better, you guys. Way better. And yeah, I did end up tearing off most of the old uh, seat, which it looked like trash. So, the sides here. These corners are the ones that are like really 
crappy to be honest. I don't even know how how I'm supposed to like tighten them down or what. smooth i messed up by leaving the the fabric on it that it had the vinyl and then the foam is like pretty jacked up too so um and i messed up on this piece right here this was pretty hard to pull it back and tighten it i still have the top right here but i don't think these are going to come off so i mean it doesn't look horrible <laughs> it looked way worse before but i gave it another try so i'll show you guys when i'm done with it and hopefully it looks a little bit better at least because i still need to finish the top here all right, you guys, so I'm still working on the front plastic because of that, like, um, I don't know, custom stuff it had painted on. I don't know what exactly it's called, but it's like when you do it in the water and you put paint in the water and then you, I think it's called like hydro dip or something like that. Um, anyways, yeah, I still need to finish that front one. Everything else is on. This is how the seat turned out. It didn't turn out that great, you guys. I'm not going to say it is looks great but i mean it looks better than the one it had on i guess um there's a lot of things i would have done differently and especially take off the old um all the old seat cover and maybe try to shave down the foam a little bit made it look a little bit smoother this is as you can see here here this is just because it was the hardest part to do but eh, it looks better so it looks better it's getting there uh i'm gonna do another another startup let it run and see if it leaks cooling again um, and then once we finish the first one i'll give you guys a final look on it i'm still waiting for the handlebar um, pieces right here they're supposed to come in right now so then i can do that and then we should be all good to go <laughs>
I heard like weird little noise in there, but I don't know. It might not be nothing. I mean, I know the pipes always rattle, especially the aftermarket ones. But we're looking good, you guys. Um, it's getting there, so I just need to work on that front plastic, and then I'll be back. Wow, you guys, um, it's cold right now, so my eyes got watery, and I don't have my glasses on, and I think I've got a runny nose, but you guys did, I didn't even go that fast, and that was like the best experience on a quad in my entire life. I did not regret buying the Banshee. I definitely need to buy another Banshee now that I got everything worked out of this one, so I'm very excited to uh, fix it up and finish it. And then post it for sale and then I'll hopefully get some good offers for it. And I already have another one that I'm looking at that I'm looking to buy that I might go pick up today. So stay tuned for that video. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you guys to get um, pretty much a, a little uh, GoPro footage of me taking it around the block. I mean, I don't have the front plastic on. 
Uh, the front plastic, it had that design on it, so I'm still working on trying to get it off. It's being a pain in the butt. Um, and then the grill. But other than that, I mean, you guys, it's pretty much well well put together. It runs pretty decent. So, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely really excited um, to see how much I can sell it for and then how much I can get that other one for, which is still fairly cheap. Um, I do regret the seat. The seat doesn't look great at all. But there was a couple of things that I could do differently that'll make it look better. But, oh well. All in all, the quad runs good. Um... I guess I really don't have any complaints, so it is what it is, but the quad is awesome, you guys, so there's that. Uh, hopefully, we'll um, get another one in here and uh, be able to fix it up. I think that's going to be it. Maybe at the end, I'll post uh, another um, picture of what the quad looks like finished, and uh, hopefully, I'll have a follow-up video on how much it sells for. All right, you guys, this is going to be it for the Banshee. Um, this is the final result. Uh, I wish I could have gone with the better set of wheels. I have just some like decent tread ones on front. The backs are pretty um, bad. I don't know if you guys remember. It had that 4x100 um, um, hubs on the back. So uh, I actually took the ones off of the Warrior, put them on that one, and then, um, yeah, and then took those wheels off because I wanted to keep the, the Douglas set over here. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I kind of messed up on the plastic, you guys. I stripped it, and it looks like they had already stripped it, so it looked really, really crappy. I went the cheapest route I can, which I usually don't do this. I even hate mentioning that I did this. I plastic dipped the front, the front plastic, you guys. It doesn't look terrible, but, dude, you guys, it looked horrible. I should have um, I should have posted a video on how it looked before um, before I actually plastic dipped it. But I don't think it looks horrible, you guys. It's, it's not a the best look on the banshee but it's uh okay runs great and uh, i mean everything's pretty much dialed in and i'm gonna post it up for sale so it's gonna be uh probably up for sale around like three thousand something and then um you know i'll let people lowball me from there and see how much i can get for it but yeah so a lot of new parts new cylinders new pistons um new couplings for the exhaust new brake lever uh, new grips with a new twist throttle uh, Plastics are a little bit better shaped. The seats kind of redone. I'm not really proud of that seat at all um, What else I think that was it painted the frame the frame looks great The frame and the engine are probably like the best thing on this thing I wouldn't even give a shit about the plastics or the tires because I could just buy a new set of tires That'll make it look even better and then the new plastics will make it look even better, too But I mean it's turnkey ready you guys kick kick one kick two it starts up so it's uh it's running pretty good and now it's posted up for sale so hopefully we get some hits on it so we'll see what happens